I measure people who come to me eating you know, raw meat and I look at their blood and there's microbes and bacteria and there's disease in their blood and there's fat in their blood and their cholesterol in their arteries and we image their arteries with carotid scanners, they're clogged up. And I've told them, I said, I, I wouldn't do it if I were you, you keep doing it, you, you know, you're, you're setting yourself up. What you're talking about is a lot of processed oils and fats, even though it's grass fed, sure it's leaner, it's leaner, it's leaner, leaner cattle. Leaner meaning lower in fat than prime rib, which is like the highest fat cut you can get, 60, 70. So depending on the grade of the meat, the fatter year it is, it's marbled. That's grease, that's fat, 70% fat. It's like eating pure butter. When you get down to lean grass fed, it might be under 20% fat. So it's better for you from a fat standpoint, but the cholesterol is permeated throughout the tissue. So you're still getting the same or more cholesterol, basically the same as the same amount of cholesterol from fish, chicken, red meat, they all in flesh is permeated throughout the white flesh of the meat. It's not just in the fat. So cholesterol clogs your arteries. That's what causes more heart attacks and strokes than any other cause on the planet. And so you can get grass fed meat and probably reduce your risk of you know, areas of certain diseases that are associated directly with oil and fat, but you're still going to be at risk of the chronic diseases of narrowing of the arteries.